I go, you say, I say, one song to sing. What's up guys? It's about 10.30, about to head out. I was able to sleep in a little bit. I got up at like 8 o'clock. Anyways, I'm gonna stop by Radio Shack. On the way to campus, I wanna get a battery for that little polder scale that Lexi gave me. Um, battery was dead, she hasn't used it in a while, so grab this battery. So we have that scale at the uh, campus. Anyways, outfit for today, TLC hoodie. These are gonna be restocked very soon, probably either at the end of this week or early next week. I will announce a, a release, a restock on Instagram. I got a vintage old gold stringer. Charcoal Ape Joggers, Red Hyper Feels, Diesel Watch, we got a uh, push day today, a hyper dynamic push day, so I'm excited, it's a new day, today's going to be a good day, I'm going to take it easy on push day. Make sure I don't miss any reps, just because I, I felt like complete dog shit yesterday. Um, no sleep is going to help. I just uh, been relaxing this whole morning. Trying to relax the mind also, just because, you know, mentally, guys, if you have a lot going on in your life, work, business, family, you know, a lot of things, that will stress you out, and uh, the mind is a big part of your performance, your actions, your daily life. So take a step back, take it easy, take a breath. New day. Love this song. I don't know who it is. But uh Shazam it for me guys. My phone is in my pocket. I'm not gonna get it. But anyways, for you iPhone users, you know that uh, Shazam is uh, part of Siri. So you can use Siri and say, what song is this? And it'll Shazam it automatically. So you, there's no need for that Shazam app anymore. I just said it's, it's uh, Wiz Khalifa. Right, so I'm gonna find that track. Found it on iTunes. It's crazy, because it's on. it was on the Furious 7 um, soundtrack. I knew I heard it before. I think they were playing it at the end with the whole Paul Walker ending part. It it's a deep song. I thought I lost the battery. I put it in my hoodie pocket, but it was in there. It's gloomy as hell today. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I have a uh, special guest coming in tomorrow. I'm gonna visit me, check out the campus, and uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Keep you guys uh, guessing. Anyways, I'm here at Radio Shack. Pick up this battery. Okay. How cute. <laughs> Package came for me. Show you what I got. This is not fitness related, but it's man related. I've been wanting this watch for a while. Super clean, super plain. It's just a little bit more of a dressier, subtle watch. It's a little bit, the face is a little bit bigger than like your, your standard um, dressier watches. 
I like the band though. It's like there's a texture to it. Black. I'm probably gonna rock this right now. Yeah, Invictus packaging is real nice. Sexy ass watch, Tankster. I get happy just seeing it on your wrist. What does it remind you of when you look at it? Work hard, be on time. Time is money, bro. Time is money. I really like this watch. It's a nice addition to the collection. You don't have to customize it, right? <laughs> it's just a little decal. Can you zero it out? Yep. All right, so quick tip. If you guys don't already know this tip, if you're a flexible dieter and you've been doing it for a while, counting macros, you know. But uh, let's test it out with. What can I do it with? Um. Oh, can't deal with anything. I don't know if it'll... It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Well, let's pretend... Let's pretend that we have... Uh, hold this. All right, let's pretend like we have a jar of peanut butter, all right? The Fisher, uh, it's a jar of peanut butter. So once you put it on there, you tear it, so it's zero, the scale's zero, right? So say we're gonna take a tablespoon or a spoon and we want like 16 grams, which most of the time is a serving of peanut butter, right? So you would scoop out the peanut butter until you have 16, until it says negative 16 grams. And that is a way to be more accurate using a spoon or coming out of like any kind of jar or like even ketchup, ketchup, mayo versus measuring it with like a spoon and trying to um, estimate a tablespoon, a physical tablespoon. So you're going to be measuring it by weight instead, which is more accurate. All right. So all you do, like I said, you put it on there, tear it should say zero and then you take it off so this piece was 1.2 this wrapper of 1.2 grams it's like Christmas today this is a package from one of my clients um, Matthew his last name is Faultings um, he hit me up and he was like I guess he works for he's relate he his job has him um, with deals with um, like Ray-Ban sunglasses. So he asked me what, what sunglasses that I want and I um, there was a pair that I've been wanting for a while just haven't got them but uh, he hooked me up he was like I'm gonna send them out next day shipping I'm like you don't have to do that and he's like I want to so I'm excited to open these it means a lot to me Matt and uh I really appreciate it. You know, I'm just doing my job with my coaching, and uh, you didn't have to go this far. All oh, my clients sent me a present. Give Sonya some FaceTime. Seventy-two. Oh, she brought the camera. Yeah, I'm start vlogging again. I was sick, like three times. Me and Riley. So, <laughs> no excuses, but. I 
Yeah, they said the black case. I like the black one. Yeah. And these are the polarized ones. These are the, um, I forget the model. They're not the Wayfarers, but they look like the Wayfarers, and they're bigger. I have the original, or the, the new style Wayfarers. I don't know what they're, I forgot what they're called. They are polarized. They only make polarized in this one, this model. I'm not really a big fan of the polarized just because it changes like how your phone looks like when you're looking at it. Oh, these are clean. And I got the tortoise ones because uh, I just got those black Justins and I really like those. I like these a lot more than the, the original or the new Wayfarers because they're bigger and I got a bigger head. Again, yeah, thank you, Matt. I really appreciate it. You have to do this, but uh, I will always think you when I wear these. All right, this package is from, it's the last one, guys, I promise. This is from uh, the Protein Cookie Company. And I would like to announce that I am now officially contracted sponsor athlete for them. Now, after, after I tasted the cookie, I was really impressed with the macros, God, with the macros and the taste, and that's key to me. I mean, this is not a supplement, this is food, and with those macros and the taste, I would easily, like I did the past couple of days, fit one or two of these in. So they sent me another two boxes. So yeah, so I have a discount for you guys in the description boxes now, 15% um, off. And some of you said, you know, they're pricey, but I mean, you get what you pay for. And, uh, and these are high quality cookies. It has a good amount of freaking protein, 18 grams. It's good whey protein. Um, the fat is low and they taste good. You know, it's food guys, I mean, don't look at it as a supplement it, it's a treat and if you guys know nutrition you know macros you're not going to find a cookie that's this this good of a taste with eight grams of fat i mean what's two oreos tankster eight like grams of fat two little ass oreos like two grams of fat all right i'd much rather have one of these and get some protein in over two fucking little oreos that won't even dent my throat or dent my stomach. So, 15% off now. Discount code, the online coach. I am officially with them. And you guys know that I don't team up with um, companies that I don't believe in. That I can't easily like tell you this is a good product. Just like Ape. I love their stuff. Um, I wear it every day just because I like it. I mean, I would buy this stuff even if I wasn't with them. But it's just... Two birds with one stone teaming up with a great team and having good gear. And uh, you guys know that I'm straightforward about it. This is just another company that I want to help promote, help them grow, and I'm going to grow with them. You know, I do well with them, they do well, and they take care of me. And that's just, that's my, that's my whole, like, approach with companies, man sports. Uh, we're on the same page about supplements, the high quality stuff, they don't put out bunch of BS marketing they just they put out stuff that you know can help but you don't need and they know that I believe that I told man sports that I don't preach supplements you know if you can afford them they're a luxury item buy them you know so with these they are a little bit you know on the price side but with my discount code it helps out a lot and it's a good snack it's something good to throw in your your daily macros all right so I'm gonna Stash a couple of these in the card drawer. And then I'm going to take the rest home. See, one of each in the backpack. So I always have quest bars and now these cookies.
favorite Fitmark bag that loves this thing. Alright. Getting ready to hit our workout. Push workout, Tankster. Focus. Here's uh, Protein Cookie Co. announcing my sponsorship with them. I'm gonna repost this. Um, be sure to follow them, guys. Their Instagram is at Protein Cookie Co. Give me that favor. Should I have? I kind of want some carbs. I think I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna have some totally eggs. Probably like 40, 50 grams worth. I want a good push workout today. Redemption for yesterday. Some trolley eggs, Tankster? Sure. All right, so one serving, I'm gonna do 32, it's 40 grams. I guess since we have the scale here, I'm gonna start just weighing everything out instead of counting pieces. It takes longer, right? <laughs> I think most of the time when you're weighing stuff, you actually get more food. Because keep in mind, the pieces are like, there could be a small little runt guy, there could be a big boy. Forty point nine. See if we can get exact. So you know my OCD kicks in. I've been good at relaxing a little bit though. Oh, it's gonna be impossible. Let's see if I can find a little guy. Forty point eight. That's as good as it can get. <laughs> All right, guys. So the protein cookie, the macros, nine grams of fat. 21 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, 20 grams of protein. Damn, that protein. Um, this is the dark cocoa chocolate chip. Yeah, it was so protein cookies, a lot of them are like crunchy, like freaking cardboard, and you can taste the protein like too much. Yeah, it's not too chocolatey, so it's good. I like that. It kind of doesn't taste too much like a brownie, because I mean, I'm sure the different. Well, let me wash this down so I can taste it. But it's moist. It is moist, yeah. I was expecting it to be like dry, like completely dry. Because yeah. it, it, it was dry, it would suck. It's not like dry at all. It almost tastes like, similar to like a grandma cookie. You guys like, you guys taste a grandma cookie? Yeah. Yeah. And you can fit both those bad boys in, <laughs> like easy. <laughs> Dude, ice cream cookies. I think I prefer this one a little bit more. The classic chocolate chip. Yeah, me too. Um, the macros for these, um, 8 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein, 2 grams of fiber. So ice I think it's, this one was high, right? Yeah. yeah. So do your Briars fat-free ice cream, and then two of them, or make a pizuki. What is a pizuki? What? You don't know what a pizuki <laughs> is? <laughs> what is that? BJ's. Go to BJ's, ask for a pizuki. It's like two cookies, or a cookie heated up with ice cream on top. You've never had a bazooki? <laughs> Go to BJ's. There's all kinds of flavors. Mm. <laughs> all right, working sets are beginning. We got Andrew working in with us. Yep. He's also doing the meet on um, May 2nd, Saturday with us. His first meet. How old are you, 19? 19. 19. Just a little young buck right there. Tanks are 175. We're going for triples today. Pause. Come on. Up! Dig! Go! Yeah. 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 That one looked easier than the second. Press! Press! Let's go! Big breath. Press! Up! Up! Got it. Come on! Go! 
300. We're digging. I want three. Alright guys, last set, last working set for me, 300. I want that triple. It's Mike, it's Jordan, fourth quarter. Clutch. Press! Motherfucker, that was so delayed. Press! Oh. Oh, get up. Press! Get up. All right, some slingshot work. Tanks just bumping it up uh, 10 pounds, 185. It's gonna go three to five, whatever we can get. Press! 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 No more. I'm gonna make a little bit bigger jump um, than I thought I was going to go, but 335. Press! Oh. Press! Back on a video. We got some guests, 29 Palms. Say what's up. What's, what's, up? Up? what's your name? Emerson. All right. My name's Danny. You guys killed it today. Go. Press. Ah. Press. Up. Up. I'm going 340. This is what I want to. This is what I want to do at the uh, the meet. My third attempt. Easy. Oh. Get up. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun and finish off OHP with some singles. Andrew's gonna go 185. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe 205. We'll see. The most um, I've done is 225, but that was like the last, my last surplus at the peak of it. I think I was like 178 or something. We're gonna change it up today. We're gonna stick to the flat pushing movements or bench movements. We're gonna do dumbbell, dumbbell flat. Playing eight to 10, three sets. Drop set? <laughs> he, he did 
Okay, two, two, two reps. Next move with lateral raises. We're just doing three sets of like 12, 12 to 15. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of you guys asking about that split in my chest. It's, it's not like, it's nothing um, like from an accident or an injury or anything. It's just genetics, guys. I just start noticing it when I'm leaner. And it's only certain movements, like when I'm curling. It's weird. Last moment of tricep push downs. Gonna do, I don't know, four sets. Maybe 12, 12, 12 reps. Weight update, guys. I was, um, I haven't hit a new low in like three weeks. I'm not stressing it. I've been like 159, 160, and my, my last low was 158.2. I have been having like some higher calorie days, um, just kind of refeeds. So that's, that's probably the reason. You know, my glycogen water retention is a little higher, but I feel like I'm getting leaner by the day. So, yeah, don't stress that uh, your weight fluctuation. You know, if you're majority of the time in the deficit, you know, hitting your macros should be fine. And if you're looking in the mirror and uh, you're looking tighter and tighter, just go off that. Especially, and, and your clothes. Clothes is a big, a good indicator of your, your body composition changing. If your clothes are fitting looser, it's a good sign. But anyways, good day today, better day today. Having a real, real, real great day. Had a good push workout with Tankster and uh, Andrew, so off to a good start. Um, I'm going to go head to uh, Wobble Grill and go pick up some lunch for me and Tankster. It's kind of cold. I forgot that it was gloomy outside. Got the Wobble. I'm going to head back to the campus, eat, and then get some work done. Look at that. So pretty. Wobble Grill plate. And then the protein cookie company cookie, chocolate chip. Again. You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song, you sing.